Oh, hey guys, look at that trick I just did. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Teach Magic. Today, I would like to thank you guys for giving me 200 subscribers, as you can see right here. So I'd just like to say thank you for that. I'm going to be making a special video on that. I'm going to be teaching a card trick. I don't know what's so special about that, but it's going to be special. So, don't forget to subscribe to me. Give me to 500 subscribers so I can reveal this trick. And don't forget to like the video and share it to someone who you think might like magic. So let's get into the trick. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to these two channels over here. I'd like to give a shout out to SM Art and Crafts Academy right here. And this other channel that I'm going to show right here. So those are the two shout out winners. And don't forget to subscribe to them and subscribe to me. And like the video and let's get into the trick. So for this trick you'll need the face cards for the hearts, the diamonds, and clubs. So now, and you'll also need a spectator. But, I don't have a spectator right now, but if I did, I would let you guys do all of this. But for demonstration, I'll just do all this. So first the spectator will choose any of the piles they want. Let's say they choose the diamonds. And then they can just shuffle it as much as they want. And after that you tell them to deal it into three piles. After that they can choose any other pile and do the same thing. Just shuffle it and deal it onto those three piles. It does not matter which order. Then they'll do that with the last file again. Then deal it onto the three piles. Now they can choose any of the piles to put on top of the other piles. So let's say they choose like this and like that. After that, you'll ask them to choose a number between one and three. Let's say they choose two. Then you tell them to cut it that many times. So they chose number two. They'll cut it two times. They can choose any number, but I just like to keep it to less than three cuts for time constraints. And yeah, after that you tell them to deal it into two different piles like this. And then you tell them to choose which pile they want to put on top of the other. And then they'll choose any of the piles that say they choose this pile. They'll put that on top of the other pile. After that, you'll take the cards back and then you'll do the trick. So now you say C, L, U, B. H, D, A, R, T. So as you're doing that, you just put cards to the bottom. D, I, A, D. That's so you guys don't think I'm cheating if I'm going this way all the time. I'm just going to start from here. C, B, H, T. D. Now I'll just deal the cards out so that it saves time. And now I'll just snap my fingers and watch. All the clubs will come back together. All the diamonds will come back together. And all the hearts will come back together. Boom! I actually did it! Let's go. So that's how you do this trick. That's the demonstration of this trick. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the tutorial. For this trick, you'll just need the face cards for the hearts, the diamonds, and clubs. Again, no spades. The spades will not work for this trick. So, after you get these three piles, you ask the spectator to choose any pile they want. Let's say they just choose the hearts this time. 
then they can just shuffle it as much as they want and then deal it into three piles it does not matter how they deal it you just need to deal it and you do that with all the other piles just shuffle it and then deal it randomly onto the piles then they do the same thing with that pile the last, last pile and after you're done with that to make them feel like they're controlling all of this, you tell them to choose what to put on top of the other. So let's say they just choose like that. Then you ask them to cut the cards as many times as they want. It really does not matter. Say they just cut it two times. Okay. After that, you tell them to deal the cards into two piles one by one. So like that. After that, you tell them to put any card, I mean any pile, on top of the other pile. So let's say they choose this pile, they'll put it on top of the other pile. After that, this is the part where you should not mess up. This is very, very important. No plural, okay? C, L, U, B. No C, L, U, B, S. And you need to start with the club. Heart, diamond, so let's just do heart, and then T, and then last is diamond, D, D. Now this is also very important, after you do that, you need to make sure to start from the other way. So you started from here to go here this time, and now you start from here since you started this way. So after that you just start from club again. B, place it here, not here. H, R, T. And D, D. After that, you're supposed to deal the cards out. Don't keep doing that again from here. Just deal the cards out normally. So, but you also have to start from what you just started from. So you started at the start from here, then you went here. And after that, you started from here and then went here. So you gotta start from here again. So you just deal the cards out normally. After that, you can do whatever you want, like wave and snap. And then all the cards will come back together. In their suits again. This time I got lucky. All the Jack, Queen, and King. Jack, Queen, King. Jack, Queen, King. But all of them... We'll come back together if you do this trick properly so don't forget to subscribe and yeah thank you guys for watching